Hey folks, I'm putting this antenna on my truck and many people say, you know, I sure wish you would have showed me how you did this or did that and I just get so busy with everything I don't film it. I usually say it afterward. But here we go. Without ripping my headliner down, okay, I've got a one by two piece of lumber. I beveled the end of it, you know, I cut it on a 45 on this end, put it in there. So I could pull the headliner down without destroying it. This here is a three foot uh, yardstick. And I have the lower mount for the Wilson uh, taped to it with um, electrical tape. And I fished it through the roof, you know, going in. So once it's in the hole, I can just pull it back out. You know, the electrical tape will give. So guys, don't think you got to take your little headliner out. If you're halfway smart, you can figure this out. I mean, I'm I'm halfway smart. I got to figure it out. So look at that. Now we got all the room. See, I'm using this right here to maneuver it. Got it right up in there. So stand by while I put the nut on there. All right, this is the bottom. It's gonna go that way. I'm not taking any chances. I don't care what they say. Got some. RTV gray silicone automotive you know engine grade that way it's not gonna leak stand by all right folks I got it popped in there got it tight in you can see that RTV just barely coming out don't even have to wipe it off looks good um, I'm gonna try to pull the yardstick out now which I'm sure it should come right out because I've only got some electrical tape on it okay Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. The tape even came out with it. Awesome. Awesome. Now I can pull this back out. Let me show you that a little better. Stand by. Let me go down there. You know, I thought I was going to have to pull this head, whole headliner out. I didn't want to deal with it. I just ordered a striker magnet mount antenna. And, uh... You know, I ordered it this morning, and I was like, you know what, I can get this damn thing in there. So there you go. See, here's the one by two here. See? That way you can manipulate it without destroying it. And then we can pull this out of there. It'll go right back up. See how I just angled the end a little bit? So that way it wouldn't catch the ribs in the roof. And when it did, you could just pry down a little. No damage to the headliner, thank God. Um, I just had to take out a couple clips, and, you know, here's, here's the... Uh, assortment of stuff I had to pull out there and as you can see it's just this one little area right here I dealt with you know just took the seat belt off and the little grab handle and so what do you guys think huh huh and then to run it through everywhere else <clears throat> well it's a Wilson striker is the same so it's just got that little tiny plug on there you know, and then the big one goes on afterwards, so the adapter makes it real easy. I just wanted to show you that, guys. If you're on the fence about putting a, putting a roof mount in there, just work smart, think about it, take your time, and you'll be able to do it. Let's go up, let's go up top side one more time. Now, I sure hope that Wilson 1000 works well for me. I had this on there because a buddy of mine gave me this antenna like five years ago. And I always thought these things look goofy, but let me tell you something. This son of a gun's got ears. Um, in the mobile, my buddy could hear me uh, way out in Carson City. And that's like 45 to 50 miles, at least 45 miles as a crow flies, minimum, maybe 50. And he heard me with this. <laughs> now, of course, you can't run down the highway with that mount. Um, <laughs> it'll fall right off but just for testing purposes this antenna was blowing smoke I was un, you know <laughs> crazy happy with that okay I don't know what happened to my uh, mute button I usually hit mute or I mean pause but uh, it's disappeared let's see if it works no guys I wasn't trying to show off my Trump hat I just took it off to work on this I will show you my sticker though but there we go it's all tight what does it take here because everyone wants to know uh well this one took a 19 millimeter 
So whatever is equal to a 19, probably about a three quarter. But, uh, or no, wait, let's see. A 17 is equal to an 11 16. Yeah, it could, uh, hell, I don't know what it is. Or I'm sorry, you know, yeah, 11 16 is equal to a 17 millimeter. So this is a 19. So it would, uh, let's see, who knows? You'll figure it out. 19 or. So here's the top here. And as you can see, we just screw it on there and we are good to go. And I wanted an antenna like this so that way when I go through the car wash or I come in my garage, I don't have a big thing sticking up. I don't hit anything. Works out perfect. Um, the striker antenna is the same way I noticed. So the striker would, at least the magnet mount, I don't know about the hard mount. You know, the magnet mount striker and the Wilson are very similar. They only stick up a little bit. That's what I was going to do. What, what I was going to do with the striker, this might give you guys some ideas. Um, I was just going to mag mount it. Actually, I was going to mag mount it right here where I had the other one. Well, I would have had to put it back here because I had to drill a hole. I've got some stuff on the roof here. So I would have put it here and in front of it, I would have drilled a hole so that the wire could go through it. And I would have put a grommet in there so it doesn't chafe and just a little bit of RTV. I did that to my buddy's Honda Odyssey minivan, and it's been years, and it's, you know, Wilson 1000 mag mount, drilled a hole, put it through there. I didn't even have a grommet at the time. I know he's going to see this and be like, motherfucker, how come I didn't get a grommet? I think he said that one time. I didn't have one at the time. I just drilled a hole, put some RTV in there. It was fine. I think on the coax, I put like some heat shrink or electrical tape, something around the coax. But now that I have a box of grommets, I would definitely use it. So that's it. That's all it took. It got in there easy. It was a literally a 10-minute job. I thought it was going to, you know, be hours and mess with the headliner and all kinds of crap. Yeah, my roof is all sun faded. Um, so that's it. Hopefully this antenna works well. If it doesn't, if it gives me some type of problem, I know it's easy to get in there. Undo the nut, pop it down, and get it right out of there and put something else in. Um... So I've got a striker, a brand new striker mag mount coming. Paid 100 and I think 15 bucks for that shipped. So I'll, I'll have that. I was even considering the big triple mag mount for here. And then, uh, you know, I, I could run like that big thing there. That sure does look goofy on the truck. But boy, that son of a gun got out and it's got ears. We'll have to see how well this Wilson does. Alrighty, folks, that'll be the end of this one. I'll show you some more stuff in the future here that I'm doing to the truck with the amp and all that. Have a good one.